In the 2021 Olympic Games, the 20-year-old sensation Jakob Ingebrigtsen from Norway won the gold medal, breaking the Olympic record by over three seconds with a time of three minutes, 28.32 seconds. This 1500 meter race was a big deal. For many years, this young talent had been showcasing some of the most impressive performances in many races, even breaking into the top 10 all time in multiple areas. But on the biggest stage in the world and the biggest moment of his career, he proved himself worthy as the gold medal winner against an incredibly talented field. After taking the gold in Tokyo, Ingebrigtsen once again made history in his 2022 season opener, breaking the world record in the men's indoor 1500 with a time of 3 minutes 30.60 seconds, taking down the previous record by more than 4 tenths of a second. With so much talent and so much promise over the following few years, it's easy to see why many people think that Jakob Ingebrigtsen, right now, cannot be beaten in the 1500 or in the one mile distance. However, there is another athlete that just did something so remarkable that he very well could take down the reigning Olympic champion in 2022. In the 2022 BU Last Chance Meet in Boston, Massachusetts, Josh Kerr from the Brooks Beast Track Club unleashed one of the greatest indoor mile performances in history. With a huge negative split and a very strong finish, he just dropped a time of 3 minutes 48.87 seconds, breaking the European record which had stood since 1983 by the one and only Eamon Coughlin from Ireland. This means that for almost 40 years, Coughlin's European record of 349.78 had stood unchallenged against any other European athlete. And even though Kerr had already won the Olympic bronze in last year's Olympics, this 348 just might be the most impressive race of his career. On the indoor all-time list, Kerr is now ranked at number three, now only trailing the world record of Yomif Kajelcha and the number two all-time performance of the great Hisham El Garouj from 1997. Kerr is now ranked up with some pretty impressive company on this list. And even though this number three all-time ranking makes him a real threat in pretty much any race this season, something else very unique happened in this race that showcases just how fast Josh Kerr truly is. For the opening 800 meters of this performance, Kerr achieved a split of 1 minute 56.76 seconds, an average 400 meter pace of 58.38. This is fast, but it's not nearly fast enough to go sub 350. And at this halfway point, Kerr must have been aware that the pace was significantly slower than it needed to be, because over the next 400 meters, he threw down a monstrous split of 55.31 seconds, achieving this pace with 200 splits of 27.69 and 27.62. This is a remarkable acceleration, and he only continued ahead of the field with a final 400 of 56.83. This 3 minute and 48 second mile showcases tremendous negative splits of 156.75 for the opening 8, followed by a significantly faster second 800 of around 1 minute and 52 seconds. This is a very large disparity between the opening half and the second half, and if we compare these two splits with the world record and the number two all-time performance of El Garouge, we can see that Josh Kerr's splits showcase a much greater distance between the opening half and the second half. So it's pretty obvious to me that Josh Kerr can actually run much faster than this 348. And I think if he paced his race correctly, he has the potential to break the world record of Yomif Kajelcha. At 348.87, Josh Kerr is the fastest miler in the world thus far in 2022. And while this record is certainly a big moment for Josh Kerr, there is something else happening this season that just might be the craziest thing to ever happen in middle distance running. Over the previous 10 years, the number of sub four milers during the indoor season has ranged from a low of 24 in 2011 up to a high of 58 in 2019. This list showcases an average of about 40 athletes to go sub 4 during any indoor season. And with this in mind, I want you to go ahead and guess at how many runners have already broken 4 minutes for the indoor mile this season in 2022. Go ahead, I'll give you a few seconds. Well, amazingly, the answer right now 
is an all-time record of 104 athletes who have broken four minutes in 2022. That's almost double of any previous season to ever occur. I'm honestly not exactly sure why so many athletes are crushing the four minute barrier this season. It very well could be the shoes. Shoe technology has come a very long way. It also could be better training, better competition, or perhaps the fact that the World Championships will be in Eugene, Oregon this season, a pretty epic final destination paradise for any track and field athlete. Regardless of why this is happening, one thing is for sure, and that's that with so much talent and so many athletes running very quickly this season, something special is likely to go down in either the 1500 or the one mile distance come the outdoor season. At the moment, Josh Kerr stands at number one in the world in the mile, but over in the 1500, the reigning Olympic champion Jakob Ingebrigtsen holds strong as the world's fastest athlete. Perhaps in a few months, we'll see these two racing in a highly competitive 1500, and if everything is optimal from the pacing, to the weather, to the athletes feeling good on the day, perhaps the world record of 3 minutes and 26 seconds of the great El Rouge could fall to either one of these athletes. In a few previous interviews, Kerr's joked around about the fact that he's gotten so incredibly close to multiple national records, falling only 0.2 seconds away from the 1500 and the indoor mile record. But after this 348, he's completely bypassed a national record and jumped straight into a new European record. And he did this with a superhuman negative split. And now I want to hear from all of you. How fast do you think Josh Kerr will run in 2022? And can he take down Jakob Ingebrigtsen come the outdoor season? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, Josh Kerr is an absolute Brooks beast.